I'm gonna teach you how to do a live close. Ready? So tell me you need to think about it and I'm gonna tell you what to do. Ready? You take 40 test drives a month. Do you think it's possible for you to sell half of these? My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop, no, thinking I'm about to blow. Anyways, with that being said, there's obstacles and objections. Okay, objections come up in the close, obstacles come up before the close during selling. Now, I wanna tell everybody something. This is one of the biggest ways that I've learned. Can you, can you build a friend with somebody, yes or no? Yep. Are you pretty good at that right now? I think so. Okay, are you good at going and getting clients to drive cars? I believe so, yeah. Okay, if 10 people come in, in your opinion, 10 people come in, how many of them could you get to test drive a vehicle? I wanna say probably like seven. Okay, I want you to hear what he's saying. If 10 people come in, he can get seven to test drive, okay? How many customers do you talk to today? How talk to a day? Oh, probably like five. You talk to five people a day? In, in person or? Yeah, in person. How many cars do you usually test drive every day? Probably one or two. Okay, so you test drive two a day and you work 20 days a month? Right about. You take 40 test drives a month. Okay, do you think it's possible for you to sell half of these? How would you sell half? I don't know if his numbers are right or wrong, I'm just asking him. How would he be able to sell half? My question is, could you get every customer to the test drive, yes or no? Yes. Can you get them to the test drive? Yes. Can you get them to the test drive? Can you get them to the test drive? Can you get them to the test drive? Can you guys get people to the test drive? Can you test drive a car? Yeah. Can you? Okay, if you can get to a test drive, I'm gonna ask you one thing. You're gonna, you're gonna hit them with the trial close. More than likely, they're gonna hit you with a, a stall. And then you're gonna have to overcome that obstacle. Would everybody agree? Yeah. Okay, you ready? This is what I care about right now. Trial close me. I'm gonna tell you no here, and you're gonna overcome it. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, if everybody in this room can shake a hand, go show a vehicle, do a walk around, the, the, the fill of the real wheel seals the deal. We go down the road, we drive it, we come back in. Now we're standing in front of the building, right? They're in a car that they drove. We should be able to ask them to buy it. You ready? I want you to ask me to buy it. Trial close me. Stand up. All right, you ready? Okay, I want him to hit me with the trial close. Ready? We come back, there's the building, we drove, both drove the car, ask me to buy it. Yes, sir, come on in, let's, let's, let's go uh, put the figures together and make this review. I'm good, I'm good, I appreciate it, I need to think about it. I understand, but you, did you like the vehicle? Yeah, it's did nice you like me? Yeah. Did you like the dealership? I mean, I guess, I haven't been in there yet, you guys seem exactly. all right. Exactly, maybe you should come inside. Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> no, no, but I need to think about it. No, I do understand, but if you, you're going to think about things, right? So we need to give you something to think about. We, all I got, gave you is the car, we don't even have the numbers yet. <laughs> okay, all right, come here, come stand over here. How do you guys rate him, one to ten? Three. Cool, three. Good. No, listen, I want to be real. I want you next. Come on. Trial close me. Here, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. We're going to put you right here. Okay. Trial close me. Hey, we're standing in front of the building. No, listen, we're all going to train today. We're standing in front of the building. Right? Hit me the trial close. Go. All right. So, uh, how, how to drive? Drive's good. Perfect. Nice and smooth, just like I told you, right? Uh huh. So, that's the one. I mean, yeah, it's a nice car. Okay. So if everything worked out today, you take it home right now? Um, no, I need to think about it. If there was one thing that car was missing, what would it be? Nothing, it seems nice. Yeah, yeah I just, I'm not planning on buying anything today, so I just like wanna think about it. I'm just not ready, I never buy anything the first day. Right, I get it, I understand. Been there before, you probably wanna do your research. Sure. Okay, what else are you researching with? Uh, don't know, I saw it, it looked nice, I wanna come check it out. So, I appreciate you letting me drive it. Perfect. So if there was one thing holding you back, what would it be then? I just going home thinking about it. Nice, perfect. So if I could make you a crazy deal, would you move forward? Okay, stop. It? How do you rate him? Two. Come on. Hey, wait, wait. You, he's your manager. He's gonna fire you because you didn't tell me he was a ten, <laughs> huh? That's exactly what's going on. No, no. I'm serious. Were you impressed? I mean, he's my closer. I Get your <laughs> up here. Get your up here. He asked the same question Come on, he's gonna bust his ass on the airplane ride on the way home. Get your ass up here. They're driving home together. Hey, hey, trial close me. I need to think of, or, or, hey, ask me to buy the car. Okay. <sighs> All right. Guys, guys, everybody say trial close. Trial close. Is this, is this baby shit? Yes. 
No, no, it is baby shit. This is, this is, this is easy. Is this easy? Get up here. This is easy. This is easy. If we can't trial close people, we're screwed. Like, like we're screwed. By the way, watch this. Watch. What's your name? Nikesh. What's your date of birth? Five seven ninety two. Whatever I ask you, if you know it, you'll answer it. Am I right? Good, good chance, yes. Okay, but whenever I hit you with something like a trial close, when we start stuttering, it makes me seem like we don't know what we're doing. Does that make sense? Right. Guys, is this what we do for a living? Is this how we support our families? Is this how we grow the company? Is this how we give our family that we promised the lifestyle that we would give them when we got into sales that we're after? We, we can't talk this way no more. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. We can't talk this way no more. We got to be elite. We got to be great. We've got to test each other in front of each other. We got to put each other on the spot. We got to pressure each other, positive peer pressure. Is this what you do for a living? Yes. Okay, hit me in the trial close. Let's go. I know you got this. Ready? Go. All right, Andy, what'd you think? It's a nice car. It's everything we said about it. It's nice, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I just blanked. <laughs> hold on. What, what's your name? Ryan. 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 Yeah. Hold on. What's your name? Ryan. What's your last name? Tracy. What's your wife's name? Okay, <laughs> do, you got, do you got kids? Yes, one. What's your dad's name? Todd. What's your mom's name? Jennifer. Trial close me. So what do you think, Andy? I like the car. I like the car. Everything we talked about and more? Yeah, I mean, it's a nice car, yeah. Perfect. So follow me. Let me show you everything about the... So you like the vehicle. Let me show you the numbers. Just follow me. Follow me inside. Yeah, I, I need to think about it. I understand. What do you need to think about exactly? The car? Anything on the car that you need to think about? Anything to help you out with the car itself? Or is the car nice? Yeah, the car's nice. I just want to think nice. about okay. it. Okay, because I wanted to make sure that's, that's the most important thing. That's, that's the hardest part. The easiest part is I want to put everything together for you because I'm sure your wife's going to have some questions. I'm sure she's going to want to go over the entire aspect of buying a car. It's not just the car, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, everything plays out. Okay. Well, let me show you a couple things inside that way. When your wife asks you questions, you can answer them intelligently. I'll go over a whole portfolio with you, answer any question you may have. But that is just step one. Step two is fine. Okay. Okay, watch this. Does everybody see a problem right here? Do you see one? What is it? Which part? Oh, there's a lot of it in there. <laughs> They're not acknowledging, acknowledging the... Well, watch this. What? Is this... Oh, but hold on. Is, is, the trial close, is the trial close easy? No. Yeah. It's easy when you've had the last three hours with somebody. No, 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 no. <laughs> is the trial close easy, though? How do we ask someone to buy the car? Does it change every time, or is it the same way every time, and we're good at it? Andy, is the car for you or for or somebody else in your family? Come here. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. There's, guys, there's nothing weird about this piece of carpet and over there. You're fine. Okay, all right, cool. Um, ask me to buy the car. Andy, how'd you like the car? It's a nice car. Nice car? You like, is everything right on it? Yeah. All the options on it. Yeah, I mean, it seems nice. Okay, is the car for you or for somebody in your family? It's for me. It's for you, okay? Yeah. And are you replacing this car you came up in? Yeah. You are replacing it. Okay. I'll tell you what, come on inside real quick. I'm going to get information on your, your vehicle you're trading in. I'm going to give you some numbers in my car, and I'll give you all the numbers for you to go home and think about. If, when you're ready. Okay, I stop, stop. See, now you're overselling. Okay. Quit, you're good. Okay. Listen to me. Hey, I totally understand. It looks to me like you like the vehicle. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, awesome. And the car is going to be for you, and you're going to be replacing the vehicle you have. Is that right? Yes. Cool. So what I want to do at this point is give you some numbers on your vehicle, some numbers on mine, so you know what everybody look, everything looks like, and in the end, it's your decision. Is that sure. fair? Fair enough. Come on inside. Hey, right. that ain't my trial close. Whatever it is, it's easy. Guys, can I ask you a question? Everybody say, don't be weird. Don't be weird. When I'm, when I'm asking you to buy the car, if I get weird, isn't that weird on you? Yeah. Guys, listen, I want to explain something to you. When you stutter, when you, when you go and introduce yourself to somebody, do you stutter? No. Why would you stutter when it's getting closer to spending money? It's our weakness. Our weakness is we're not training enough. I know why we're at eight cars a month. I know where we're at 10. Why? Because what we're doing right here sucks. Okay? Um, hey, if I can get the deal 110% to your satisfaction, would you be happy to take the car home? Yes or no? That could be a trial close. Hey, how do you want your new vehicle titled? You or in your wife's name or in both your names? Which will be best? Mine. Yours? Awesome. Come on inside. Let me show you how easy it is to do business with us. Boom. Okay? Like, 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 this is very simple. Am I right? Yeah. Hey, how do you want the new... Now, by the way, hey, did you love the vehicle? Do you like the vehicle? 
car drove smooth? Like, awesome. Now, how do you want your new car uh, title? Is it going to be in your name or you and your wife? Well, I'm going to talk to my son and see if this is the right car for him. Okay, but who, whose name will the title be in? Well, I'm going to be signing. Probably in y'all's, and then you'll yeah, put on there with him. I'm going to put my son. Okay, awesome. Come on inside so we can put everything together. Well, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i look at some numbers, but I'm going to make my decision until my son looks at the car. Yes, you're saying you need something to think about. Yes. And cool. I'll, and I'll be glad to take your number. Yes, yes, yes. Of course you need to think about it, because I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Absolutely. So what I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal no of all problem. the numbers, so when you go home, you'll have something to think about. No Would problem. that be fair? And all we're going to do is we're going to just take their asses inside. <laughs> Listen, everybody needs to understand this. Are we closing anybody on this pavement right here? No. Yes, sir. By the time that uh, by the time that you get to that point, you already know if the car's for him or for the yeah. There, yeah, we already know that though. Yeah, oh, I understand that totally, right? Like my deal is, I already know it's for a son. It says it sounds to me based on the information you gave me, this car is going to work great from your son. Sure. Obviously, I know there's probably a budget in mind too. That's going to need to work. Come on inside so I can show you how easy it is to do business with us. We'll make sure all that's taken care of. Okay, come on inside. You got it. Okay, like that's that's fine. Your trial close needs to be confident. It needs to be smooth. You need to believe in yourself. Listen to me. Don't stutter. Don't stutter. I wish I could have, I know it's California, so you can't do this, but like I could electrocute you guys every time you studied. Like I would just like plug something to you and I could just go. Eh. You could do that here? Yes. I love this state. Do you like that, that handshake as a part of the trial close? Do you feel like it's a solid commitment? Totally, yes. Okay. And I want to explain why. No, number one, because I always like to say, would that be fair, right? So fair is my favorite word. Fair is always good. It's easy. Um, I'll say, um, and by the way, my favorite thing that I always said is I always say, um, what is your name one more time? Nikesh. Nikesh? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Nikesh, it seems like you love the vehicle. Now, will you be titling this vehicle in your name or will there someone else will be adding to the title? Uh, just, gonna... just you? Okay, awesome. Follow me inside. Come on in. Okay, and then I'll just, I'll just roll in. That's all I do. I don't ask him to buy the car. I ask him, how do you want your new car titled? Which is what I did. Now, how do you want your new car titled? Nikesh, just your name or you and your wife's name, you and your family, is there anybody else who added the title? Why? Because I asked him a question, how do you want your new car titled? Does that make sense? Now, when I was younger, they used to teach us, you know, hey, if I can get the numbers 110% to your satisfaction, would you be happy to take it home? But, but I didn't like that. So I just say this, how do you want the new vehicle titled? Are you gonna be titled just in your name? Is there anybody else's name we're gonna be adding to the title? At that point in time, they go, no, it'll be just me. Or no, it'll be me and my wife. Okay, cool. Follow me inside. We'll get all that taken care of. Come on, guys. Thank you so much. Now watch. Now tell me you need to think about it. You need to think about it. Oh, okay, stop. If somebody says they need to think about it, trial close, should this be shaky at all? No. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Stall comes in. What's a stall? I need to think about it. There's two things you're going to get all the time. Number one, I need to think about it. And number two, I got more cars to go look at. Am I right? Okay, number one. Tell me you need to think about it. I need to think about it. Ready? Repeat back to him. Of course you need to think about it. Of course you need to think about it. Of course That's you it. need to think about it. That's it. Now listen to me. Can I train you? Yeah. Okay. If I told you I needed to think about it, right? What would you want to do? Acknowledge that you heard me, right? And then also you'd want to agree with me. Yeah. Okay? So I want you to repeat and do the same thing to him that I'm going to do. Is that cool? Yep. And you're, I'm going to teach you how to do a live close. Ready? So tell me you need to think about it and I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay. Ready? I still need to think about it. Okay, now I want you to mirror me. Say, of course you need to think about it. Of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information. I haven't given you enough information. Not to think about it. <laughs> not to think about it. This isn't weird, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I got married. <laughs> like, you guys have something going on here or something? <laughs> okay, I know it's California. I'm just saying, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm just teasing. That was a joke. All right, that's the last time Andy Elliott's trained in California. All right, All right listen, hey. Ready, tell me to think about it. I still need to think about it. Oh, no, no, just say, I need to think about it. I need to think about it. All right, you ready? Can you mirror me? Yep. Say, of course you need to think about it. Of course it. you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information. I haven't given you enough information. Not to think about it. Not to think about it. What I'd like to do. What I'd like to do. Is give you a quick five minute proposal. Is give you a quick five minute pro proposal. Of all the numbers. Of all the numbers. So when you go home. So when you go home. You truly have something to think about. You truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Would that be fair? Yeah. Follow me inside. That's it. Does that make sense? No, but listen, that's all he's saying. He, look, he says, I need to think about it. You say, of course you need to think about it. Because why? Because what are they going to think about? You ain't even given nothing to think about. What are they going to think about? By the way, nobody pull me the money or the machine. Don't pull that bullshit. Don't say, was it me? Is it the car? Is it the dealership? Why would you say that? Like, guys, listen to me. Don't say, is it me? Are you a good salesperson? 
Are you yes or no? Yes. Are you the best? Never doubt. Never doubt yourself. That's not even an option. It couldn't be me. Okay, so don't even go there. Is it the car? Do you love the car? Don't say love it. Okay, don't say love it because a lot of people will never love the car. You don't say, does it have all the options? It'll never have it all and they'll never absolutely love it, but they will take it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so don't say love and don't say all. Hey, it looks to me like it's a great vehicle for you and your family based on all the information you told me. I think it's going to work perfect. Now, how would you like your new vehicle titled? In your name or you in someone else's name? It's going to be just you? Awesome. Follow me inside. I need to think about it. Of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Notice that. Not to think about it. What I'd like to do, like I just came up with this, what I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Yes. Yeah. Notice, I said, would that be fair? And I put my hand in his chest. You have to put his hand here. Now watch, everybody looking at this whiteboard real quick. I want to explain this to you. I'm going to explain what we're doing. You guys see this rabbit hole? This is called, this is called, this is the beginning. This is where we ask for the business. This is where they say no. And they say they need to think about it. When they say they need to think about it, you got to take them inside the dealership and you got to drive them as far as you can down this rabbit hole. Now let me explain what this means. You see this? It's called a worksheet. You guys got worksheets? Yeah. ACV cards. You got an ACV card you fill out? No, no. Okay. Do you put the information on the worksheet? Do you type it into the system? Mm -hmm. Where do you get the, the trade-in information? You put it somewhere, right? Yeah, okay. Whatever that's called, this is this. Okay. The keys to their trade. Can you get that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, what about a credit app? Can you guys get it? Okay, okay, no, you can get it every time. We should get it every time. Okay, if your client's got good credit, if you pull their credit, what's the chance of them staying and buying a car? It's like 90%, so everybody follow me. Here's, what, here's how it goes, you ready? You're my customer. I say, I say, let's go inside. You're like, no, nah, I need to think about it. I overcome it. Everybody's getting confused on the five minute proposal. I'm like, come inside, give me, give me a quick five minute. They're like, five minutes? My manager will be pissed if I brought someone in and told them we'd have something in five minutes. Hey, earn the right to bring him inside. Now they're inside. Once they go inside, I'm taking them down the rabbit hole. This is a point of no return. This is where my managers are inside. They're ready to help me. I'm in a seated position. I walk through the double set of doors. Now they're in the dealership. Do you feel me? We broke into that new atmosphere. Now, what do I do? I say, hey, what's your name again? Garen. Garen? Yep. Garen, what's going on? Hey, hey, I just want to tell you, let's go ahead and have a seat real quick. Hypothetically, ever say hypothetically. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, Garen, when you are ready to purchase, how do you want your new vehicle titled? And then what's the paperwork? Where do you want the title mailed to? Okay, what am I doing? I'm doing my worksheet, right. right? Hey, also, Garen, I need to get some information off your vehicle. Who's the payoff with? Oh yeah, Toyota Motor Credit. Okay, cool. And what's the payment roughly? Cool, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get that real quick. I'm gonna get some information off your vehicle. I'm gonna have my manager check it out. Let me go ahead and get those keys. Okay, got those keys, ACV card worksheet. Hey, also, I know you got a payment on the current vehicle that you're gonna be trading in today. Is that correct? Okay, and I know that the payment's going to be important, so getting the payment to the penny on the new vehicle that you're going to be uh, looking at, that's going to be important as well. Would you agree? Of course. Cool. So I'm going to, go ahead, going to go ahead and get two seconds of information. That way, when I come back, I'll have all the numbers along with the monthly payment. Is that fair? That's fair. Okay, now what am I getting? Credit app. Credit app, worksheet, keys to the trade, ACV card. This fool's buying a car. <laughs> am I right? Dude, I have everything. The only thing I don't have is a pencil. The only thing I don't have is a pencil. How easy is it now for us to go in and I got a manager ready. I've got his, I've got his trade moved. We've driven his car. We've got an opportunity for the first time to see the way that he lives in the current vehicle he has. What's wrong with it? What's not wrong with it? Does he owe too much money? Does he not know enough? How his credit was? What his past 10 years has looked like on his credit. Somebody's gonna find something somewhere, right? And we pulled his credit, which means what? He's made a commitment. Because right. when people got good credit and they let you ding their credit, they don't wanna go ding it again. They'd rather stay here and work it out. Everything is playing in our favor. That's why it's called the rabbit hole. You take them down it. And see, most salespeople underestimate the five minute proposal. Hey, let me give you a quick five minute proposal and in the end, it's your decision. Is that fair? He's not going anywhere. What I'm doing is buying the right to get inside, to get to this worksheet, to say hypothetically when you are ready to buy, how do you want your new car titled? 
Yes? Can we do a hypothetical objection then? Yeah, sure, go. So what we're running into with a lot of rising rates mm -hmm. is people saying, I'm just going to go to my own credit union. This is what I'm pre-approved for. How would you handle that? Because we still want the commitment of the credit act. Yeah, totally understand. Hypothetically speaking, if I could beat your rate and I got a better rate, that wouldn't offend you or upset you in any way, would it? Okay, so what I'd like to do is this. I know that if, if I don't look at it, I couldn't tell you what I could do. Obviously, you're not gonna make any decision to go with your bank or this one. You already know what you have at your bank. If I could better it, it saves you more money and you said you wouldn't be mad at that. Let me go ahead and get the information on that and when I return, I promise you I'll blow your mind and in the end it's your decision. Is that fair? Yes. Overcome it. Listen to me, look at my hands. I keep putting my hands up like, hey, no big deal. Hey, no big deal. In the end, it's your decision. Whatever you want to do, it's all up to you. I'm here to serve you. Hey, we're really good at what we do. I know that you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. If there is a better way to go, if you could save more money, I know that you just want to go who's going to save you the most money. Let's make sure that we get that taken care of. Hey, we're really good at what we do. I've got 60 banks. You've got one. 99% of the clients that came in here actually end up getting a better rate with us and choose to go with us. We're not going to make that decision right now. I'm going to give you the information and then you make that decision. Is that fair? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Notice I keep bringing it back around to you, but I keep giving you reasons and excuses why you should pass go. And the hypothetical that they're like, no, 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 I'm only going, I'm a teacher, I'm only going to schools first. Yeah, so, well, so what we need to do at this point is just get all the numbers, and if that's the one you've decided to go with, then that's completely up to you, okay? One of the reasons why I don't like doing that personally, this is just my personal deal, is I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket. Okay, because one day, even though you're with teachers, what if something happened, they end up charging you extra high rates or something crazy happened, and you wanted to go to another uh, lending institution. I don't know, do they report to TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, all three, or just one? See, I don't know the answer to that. See, I use nationwide lenders. We're a large dealership, so we use nationwide banks all around the world that re report to all three credit bureaus. What I've heard from some people, they complain about Teachers Credit Union because they say they don't report to all three. Now, I don't know that, but I know that's why at least I would want to look at our option and see how this would be better, and then it would still be your choice. Would that be okay? Can I at least give you the option? I know something that if I qualify for something, I at least want to know it. I at least want to see it. Do you agree? Are you kind of like me? Cool. And I'm not asking you to make a decision, but at least I want to show you what you do qualify for and what that looks like. What did I do? Notice. I went, I said, most people don't want to put all their eggs in one basket, right? I've known clients, not saying that that's you, but I've known clients that have used X, Y, and Z credit union for all of their loans and all of their purchases. And then something happened one day and they realized that that credit union didn't report to all three of the major credit unions. Plus is teachers credit union in all of the other states or they only in California, probably only in California, right? Well, so wouldn't you want to go with the nationwide lender? I'm not sure what your credit rating is. What's your credit rating right now, David? 830. 830. Have you ever wondered why you're not an 890? No. You're right. Most people haven't. <laughs> There's always another level, David. Am I right? Yeah. There's always another level. Maybe, hold on, maybe it could be because you're putting in all your eggs at one basket at Teachers Credit Union, you're not look, letting any other nationwide lenders that are diversified through different loan institutions look at your credit and they might be able to offer you a better rate which would save you more money and increase your credit score and that wouldn't upset you, would it? Not at all. What am I doing? I said, David, you know, hey, what's your credit score? Because I don't know what hers is. I say, what's your credit score? She says a 730. I say, you ever wonder why it's not an 890? And she's like, uh, no. And I say, well, it could be because you don't diversify your credit with any other lenders. The fact that you continue to use the same credit union over and over again, we don't know if they're reporting to all other bureaus, but plus they're probably only in the state of California and they're not a nationwide lenders and using all 50 states. Mm -hmm. This might not be a bad opportunity to look, look with your eyes at a different opportunity that could increase your credit score, give you even a better rate, and have a lot of different benefits. And then in the end, if you decide you want to refinance it later and go back to your credit union, which doesn't cost you nothing, it could actually increase your credit score, give you a better rate today, and then you can do whatever you want in the future. Couldn't we just look at it? Guys, do you see what I'm saying? Do you, do you feel me? Yeah. Can you guys talk like me? Yes. We can try. No, no, no. Damn right you can. Listen, I'm gonna explain this, are you ready? 18 years old, I stuttered, okay? I stuttered. I started at the car dealership, and this guy goes, ah, shit. 
he stutters. And I did stutter. You know why I stuttered? Because I would always try to say stuff and I, and I didn't know what I wanted to say, so I would get stuck on like, what, 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 what? And I, I was an amateur, right? Amateurs always lose. Amateurs can't be confident. Amateurs can't push to the cell. Amateurs don't let their words flow like water. Does that make sense? Guys, listen, if you really want to go to the next level, I will tell you, it'll take you about three to four months and you can duplicate everything I'm doing. Number one, you got to believe in yourself. You got to understand this. The, the hardest thing that there is to do with what we're doing right now is change. Do you know him? Yes. Okay. See, that's a problem. Let me explain what I mean. See, he knows you, so he already knows how you are. Right. So when you start being different, he's like, dude, why are you being different, man? Come on, man. What's your problem? Does that make sense? Okay. When you go to be different, your wife's going to be like, come on, who is this? Who is this guy? Right? Hey, dude, she'll know who you are when she sees the checks. There was a day that I changed and I wasn't this guy. I was a normal guy, but I was in a meeting with the guy that was kind of like me. And I go, Shit, man, I don't want to be me anymore. I want to be him. And that's how life works. People in the gym go in to work out and they say, well, I'm going to look like that guy. So what do they do? They walk over and they say, hey, man, how do you work out? Like, how do you eat? What exercises do you do? How much do you sleep at night, right? Like we start asking questions because we're curious. But people always say, Andy, how'd you make seven or 800 grand a year selling cars? I say, do you really want to know? Or are you just asking? Because most people are just asking, how do I make more money? I will tell you, but you won't do anything with it anyways. Here's the answer. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be weird. You're going to have to change. He knows you, he knows you, and he knows you. You know what that means? You're going to have to change and you're going to have to not have any fear of what anyone else thinks about you when you change. But here's what I'll tell you. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to mock you. But then when you're making the big daddy checks, they're going to want to know how you did it. And they're going to want you to be their mentor. It happens every freaking time. So I'm here to tell you guys that look, this next little level right here, when we go to ask for the business and they say no, we got to drive them down this rabbit hole. Why? Because if we can get these four things or these three or four things, they're going to buy. If you guys can just get people to paper, if you can get them to paper, if you can get a write-up sheet, if you can build more trust, if you can build more rapport, you're going to sell them a car. Just by accident, they'll end up buying if you can take it to here. But the two objections you have to be able to overcome in the car business, number one, I need to think about it, which is very easy. I just handled it with you. But now you got to memorize it like me. Like, you have to memorize it. You have to use the tonality. You have to believe. And by the way, the way that I close is, is no big deal. Like, it, like, it's no big deal. Like, there's, not, there's no one waiting inside with a machine gun that's going to do something. It's just, you need the numbers. You need something to think about. I'm going to get you that in the end. It's your decision. Is that fair? Sure. There we go. I always grab a hand. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.